Hey! Um, so, I have a video already up for um, the base part for Alanis Morissette's Hand in My Pocket. And I did want to redo it just to show you um, a variation that you can do if uh, you want to do the easier rhythm, which is still totally sounds cool. So, uh, on your paper, you'll see that it's written um, for the G note, when they're playing the G chord, you're playing the third fret on the E string, so one, two, three. And there's eight threes in that little bar, which means that you're gonna, your rhythm's gonna be one and two and three and four and three. Now that would happen the entire verse. So I'm broke, but I'm happy. I'm poor, but I'm kind. I'm short, but I'm healthy. Yeah. So you can do that rhythm. Alternately, you can do the more percussive one, which will sound like. Okay, so that's your other rhythm option, okay? Which, you don't have to get crazy, it's fine. You can just play straight eighth notes, or you can do the more percussive rhythm. And if you wanna add in that extra layer, and I think that's what I did in that other video, so it's kind, it's a little bit harder, it's. So what I'm doing there is I'm adding in another note on the end of it and that note ends up being a D note which is uh, the fifth fret on the A string okay um, but you don't have to do all that if you're not comfortable yet that's totally cool if you're not um, but I do recommend if you can get to just playing the G note Now notice when I'm playing with my fingers here, I'm going boom, 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 boom. I, tr I um, don't play it like this. It's going to be harder to do that for a long period of time because your one finger is going to get tired. You, if you alternate them, you have more stamina. Whenever, after I do the first little rhythm, okay, one note, then I put my fingers on the string to silence the string from ringing out. Then silent. So one, one E and a, do, 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 stop. Strum, 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 stop. Strum, 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 strum stop. And then if you add in that extra D note, strum, so strum, so strum, bing, boom. So that extra note would actually take place in the place of the second stop. So just to recap, three iterations. You can either do straight up G, which is the third fret on the E string, and just go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and you can do the um, basic G rhythm which is one stop da -dum, da -dum, stop or you can add in the what we call the fifth note um, which is the D so So those are your options. Now on the chorus part, um, you you can just do your regular G, um, or you can do your or. So those three options still remain. Now we're adding in an F. Um, so you can either go. It's like and. Oh, well, down 
around to. So go F, which is the first fret on the E string. One and two and three and four and. And then you go to the C, which is the third fret on the A string. So the second string down. One and two and three and four and. Then back to G. One. Okay. So you can play this with a pick too. And I probably don't have one right now because, of course, I don't. Oh, there's one on the floor. Yay. It's really thin, but whatever. Okay. So um, if you're playing with a pick, you just go down, down, up, down, down. Down, up, down, down. I'm going to slow it down and show you close. Down, down, up, down, down. Now see, when I mute, when I'm playing with a pick, I just tap my knuckles on it to make it stop ringing out. Down, stop, down, down, then it, or you can alternate every time actually, either way. Down, down, up, down, down. That was down. You really just don't want to do downs the whole time because it makes you slower. It's like it's way harder to do it on time. Down, down, up, down, down. Or down, down, up, down, up. Down, down, up, down. Up. Okay. Anyway, if you're doing just down up or uh, the eighth notes, one and two and three and four and, then you're just down up, down up, down up, down up. Okay. So uh, all right, on the on the chorus part, we're going. I'll see. really the way I would play it. You could also add in that uh, other bit. The when it all comes. Oh shoot. So you do the same because of pattern on whatever fret you end up on. So it's like G, 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 D, and then F, 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 C, 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 C. That high note up there is a G. So C, 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 G, then back to G, low G, 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 D, G. Like it when you play eighth notes because it breaks up the monotony of the same rhythm so you go oh all right so basically there's three different ways you can play it there's super easy there's sort of easy, and then there's just slightly complicated. So whatever you pick, it will be beautiful and wonderful, and I think you're amazing, and we are going to rock this. So if you just sat through that whole video and you wish to judge me for my easy way of teaching, then you can just go on. Don't leave a nasty comment. I don't want to hear your negativity. Get on out of here. Bye.